Mr. Leslie, it is of paramount importance that the occupant of cell D2 does not escape. Increase the security contingent to three full-time guards until further notice. Yes, Commander. I'll see to it personally, sir. Excellent. Carry on. I think that the new Orion Syndicate should never become involved in armed conflicts, sir. What if the situation is a dire emergency? Like if a group of people are in immediate danger of being taken over by a dictator. It doesn't matter. The Syndicate has reformed their old ways and shouldn't get involved. There's no reason. Of course there are reasons. Aside from being conquered by a dictator, there's famine or medical emergencies during wars. You have to agree that trade organizations will always need to get involved in wars to ensure freedom and combat famine and medical emergencies. I don't agree. They never should. Never, sir. You're wrong. How will the Syndicate deal with those situations without becoming involved with war? I don't have to explain. I'm entitled to my opinion. Everyone has the right to their own opinion, sir. Yes, of course, but what about... You have your viewpoint, and I have mine. Well, I guess so. Mr. Mudd, Mr. Jones, I happen to overhear your remarks. Yes, Mr. Spock. The argument you are employing, Mr. Mudd, is not logical. In fact, you are resting on your right to an opinion instead of putting forth an argument for your contention. But I don't have to explain my opinion. Yes, you do, if you expect to engage in reasonable discourse about a particular controversy. I'm entitled to my opinion is a logical fallacy in which a person discredits any opposition by claiming that they are entitled to their own opinion. This logical fallacy is often presented as, let's agree to disagree, when reasoning correctly is important to provide true premises and actual evidence instead of simply dismissing the opposing argument because you have an opposing viewpoint. The I am entitled to my opinion fallacy is also a fallacy of relevance since it fails to address the actual proposition in question. Yes, of course. Thank you, friend Spock. Indeed. I shall definitely endeavor to reword my statements in the future, my good sir. That would be best. Even if an argument seems to make sense, it cannot be valid unless the form is valid and that it does not exhibit one of the logical fallacies such as, I'm entitled to my opinion, or let's agree to disagree. It's only logical.